A lot of people look at LinkedIn. Some people are like, man, this is boring. I feel like that sometimes too. Sometimes I feel like LinkedIn in particular is just like this like fantasy land of like professional world that we do these things and like the rest of the world's not really happening. Um, but I will tell you this, there are two sites in the world where you can get the best organic reach right now, which means just putting out content, et cetera. YouTube obviously is an amazing way to do that. It's TikTok and it's LinkedIn. And so if you do want to build a professional reputation, and a lot, most of you probably do, LinkedIn is the place to be. I started posting every single day back in 2018 and was able to skyrocket my followers um, and really grow my reputation. We generate millions, plural, of dollars of organic inbound leads and deals from LinkedIn. Our number one lead, lead source, and again, keep in mind, we're a you know, eight figure company um, and my number one lead source is my LinkedIn. So if you're out there and you're, you're wondering why wouldn't I get involved, I'm gonna tell you five things that I would do right now if I was starting on LinkedIn. Uh, so here you go. All right, number one, your profile. Yikes. My friends, your profile is not your resume. It's who you want to be viewed as, as an expert in your space. So get rid of the president's club, get rid of the whatever, I did this, that, nobody cares. You're reaching out to people probably on LinkedIn because you know you wanna engage with them from a, you know, a whatever business standpoint. Show yourself as an expert, that's number one. Fix your profile, portray yourself as an expert, not portray, actually be an expert, talk about what you know about your customers, et cetera. Number two is you have to engage with other people's content. You don't have to do it all the time, but early on, if you're trying to grow audience, I'm telling you, whenever you post, here's all you have to do. Spend an extra five minutes going through your feed, finding people that you know have bigger audiences and just commenting and interacting. I'm telling you, because the cool part is, if, you, if they interact with your comment, if somebody interacts with your comment, that interaction will show up in that person's feed. Right, so there's a lot of things about interacting with people. It gets them to come back. It gets you extra exposure. So that's you know that's obviously a really big one. Number three, maybe I skipped it ahead. Which this should have been two, which is producing content. Right now, I produce a piece of content every day. What I do, my my hack, I have Evernote on my phone, and a random idea pops up from a conversation I have with someone. I write a little note like, oh, I'll just write like a one sentence, and then I go back and do it. If you post once or twice a week, you're gonna be in the top few percent of producers on LinkedIn. So if, again, if I was starting right now, I would say, hey, every Tuesday and every Friday, I'm gonna post. I'm gonna create a rhythm, I'm gonna create a cadence. That's gonna make you wildly, wildly successful. Number four, it doesn't happen 100% organically. I went out and connected with people. You know, like now LinkedIn allows you to, to have 30,000 connections. You can't go above that. Most of you, that won't be a problem, right? But go out proactively and connect with people. It's the same thing on YouTube, right? You know, if I, I'm not gonna just grow the audience. I mean, like, you know, people watch the videos, but you have to go out and interact with other people's videos. You have to go out and, you know, try to follow other people and hopefully that maybe they, you know, they'll, they'll follow your page back. So you have to go out and connect with people proactively. Don't expect to just have some big viral post right and uh and then all of a sudden you get you know thousands and thousands of connections it's not how it works on linkedin so again go out you get 100 connections every week max that out just connect with people in your industry etc number five this is the most important is remove your ego meaning i see more people start with linkedin stop with linkedin because well i didn't get traction i didn't do this as opposed to me everything's a data point Right? For me, every single post, post does well, cool, data point. Post doesn't do well, data point. But you gotta remove that. You're, you're trying to add value to a community. So just go in that with that mindset. Don't worry about having to have all the answers. Don't worry about, oh, am I an imposter? Like, dude, you've been in the business for how many years? You're definitely not an imposter, all right? So for everyone out there, if you're trying to use LinkedIn, you're thinking, should I do it? The answer is 1000% yes, right? And if you do those five things, if you do those five things, you will be successful. Have a great rest of your day. If you like this video, more content like this, tactical advice, that's what I'm all about. Make sure to subscribe, follow. We'll see you on the next one.